Hello world, this is Random Fix and today I'm going to be discussing this Honda Inside here and if you're having the same problem I had about a few months back you're going to definitely want to wash this until the end because I'm going to cover this with you guys and if you're having an oil consumption issue on your Honda Insight I'm going to show you how to get this fixed and what are the common symptoms and what the dealer is going to look for and I'm also going to show you guys my invoice that I got from the Honda dealer after they went through and covered everything under warranty even though the car had over 60,000 miles let me show you that right now so first of all if your Honda inside is burning up oil you don't know where it's going and on this particular vehicle about every 1200 miles it was going to be about a quart and a half low and we took it down to the Honda dealer several times and they said there's nothing wrong with it and when I got the car back from them doing an oil change a few times, because I always change the oil normally myself, they actually overfilled the dipstick. So that was a little weird. But nonetheless, I took it to them a few more times. And they have this threshold. It has to be one liter or a thousand miles or a quart. And um, you want to make sure you're underneath that. So at least you have a dipstick on this Honda and you can actually check it yourself. But this vehicle has uh, has uh, the repairs done by Honda, and it's got about 17,000 miles now after this repair has been done, and I no longer have any oil burning or oil shortage anymore. So this is the actual receipt that I got here from Honda, and this is all the stuff they did under warranty because they basically uh, kind of, took inventory of what was happening with the oil and a few of the times that we actually took it in it had a, it had burnt in excess of what was their threshold and it took a lot of wiggling back and forth but I finally got them to cover it and I think this is a pretty major repair as you can see they did not make this easy but I wanted to make sure you guys knew about it so in case you're having the same exact issue you can get yours covered as well and there is a, a TSB out there and what happens is the oil rings on the vehicle they actually go through and they either get stuck or they scratch the side of the piston wall and therefore they start actually burning a lot more oil and uh, if you're coming across this issue I'm going to link another website which is carcomplaints.com you definitely want to go through and do a little homework before you walk into the dealer because you're going to get the story that this is normal and it's definitely not normal. I've had 2010 Honda Insights with over 200,000 miles and never had an issue with them. And on this 13, it was happening at in the 40,000 mile range at first. And we didn't pay a lot of attention to it, but it kept getting worse and worse. One thing to note on here is this vehicle has a dipstick. You can actually visually inspect the oil level and if you're getting the oil change done at the Honda dealer as I recommend to get this recall performed you want to keep track of how much oil is actually on the dipstick and if the Honda dealership is overfilling it for some strange reason and you can't figure out why and you want to beat them at their own game you can definitely use an oil extraction tool like a Medivac and basically you can remove this and suck out how much excess oil they've put in and level the playing field that way you can make sure your vehicle is going to be covered since it should be and Honda knows this is the major defect on this vehicle leaving this repair untreated you're going to go ahead and damage multiple parts of the motor and the vehicle here including the catalytic converters on this vehicle that burning oil is going to go ahead and clog up the cat and you're going to get a cat deficiency code anytime in the future and this is something you should definitely avoid the catalytic converters on this vehicle are not cheap and they're, it's going to be a very expensive and unnecessary repair and here's the actual bulletin board from the warranty extension for the 12 and 13 Honda Insights so they did a gasket on the cylinder head washer drain gasket a EGR pipe, gasket B EGR pipe, the bolt, the flange, the washers, 
the oil filter, oil filter pan gasket, the O-rings, the gasket for the oil strainer. So there's a whole bunch of stuff on here and I'm sure if I got the total bill for this, this would be in excess of $3,000. And if you can actually look at it right here, it says told to replace engine block. Replace engine block installed half moon oil seal and resealed oil pan. Replace all gaskets that need to be replaced. So they also did a valve adjustment while they did this. Replace the eight spark plugs. This car has two spark plugs per cylinder. Add a fresh oil and coolant and the CVT fluid so that was all pretty cool and they recharged the A system they, and they recharged the AC system and I guess they test drove it for 15 miles we've driven for about 17,000 miles and everything's cool on it now but I really hope this video helped you guys out and if this is your first time visiting the channel please consider subscribing for more time and money saving videos like this thank you for watching and have a great day let me know if you guys have any comments, hit the subscribe button, and I really appreciate your continued support.